Nico Ells has already delivered on his promise of real wild management hunting across his farmstead in the Eastern Cape. Great stuff, thank you. So far, Paul has taken a unicorn Impala ram and an impressive kudu bull. Now we're after a bushbuck ram. We have never not been looking for the bushbuck. It's just taken a while. Day three, we're on bush bush. We're on day three, bush bush, bush bush. Just a shoot. <laughs> Day three, bush, 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 bush. <laughs> well, day three, back on the cliff top, trying to ambush the bush buck. There's two females down there already. A diker just scooted off up through the, the sandy area down there. So Nico reckons he's going to be possibly coming across his river, riverbed. So. Fingers crossed. We spotted a nice one from our now favourite cliff ledge on our first evening, and we have been back three times in the hope he is a creature of habit. They're also a creature with a fiery reputation. Word is that the bush buck can be a bit nasty. I've never had one turn around on me. It's not a very big antelope. Yes. So they disappear very quickly, and especially when they're wounded. Now they're going to thick stuff and then lie very still. If you come too close, it might turn around. The idea of shooting from up here is an attractive one. It will test Paul's skills and the Sacco Carbon Wolf. Yes, but yes, what a place to shoot from. Out of comfort zone on this one a little bit. Because uh, we're not used to the grind. And he's shooting off angled shots. You know, you don't do that a lot, so. Um, gone on a bit of a vice. Guy that's been doing it for a long time. You know, he's obviously shot quite a few animals off these different rock faces. And uh, so I took his advice. And um, oh, I'm, I'm all right, don't worry. Guess how far that diker is. 139. What was your initial guess? 220. <laughs> also, as you can see, the wind is absolutely howling. So again, calculations are going through the mind. Two inches, three inches. Is it a full crosswind, a half crosswind? Is it blowing into the bank? Is it blowing the bullet down? Ah. Hopefully what will happen is when he comes out, <laughs> the wind will die. Okay, Paul's uh, we've tied the valleys and uh, it just doesn't seem to go our way. So what we're doing is we're going to do a walk and stalk um, in the, on the riverbed here yeah. for about maybe two kilometers. But it'll take us a while because we have to really walk very, very slowly. Yeah, yeah. It's very close range, so they'll hear us coming. We have to be very slow and very careful. Okay, and then we'll see what we bump into. Chances yeah. are bushbuck, yeah. tiger, warthog. Okay, cool. So we might we might bump into an odd kudu, but we'll see. You. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Right. Look forward to it. And what, there's a river down the bottom here, is there? Yeah, river there's, back. A, there's a river coming all the way down there, so yeah. we're going to walk all along with it. Yeah. Right next to it. Okay. Yeah. No snakes. We'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> tortoise? Tortoise, yeah? Tortoise, yeah. But I, I've got very, very little uh, knowledge about them. So. Are they native? Yeah, they are. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what happened here, um, it's a tiny little ant that injects a hormone into the thorn. And then the thorn grows way bigger than what it's supposed to be. And then that little ant lives in there. It's called a slender ant. If it bites you, you will die. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, just, it's, it, it's just got a hell of a sting when it bites you. Apart from tortoises, ants and some trail cam action, we're not getting very far. However, our tracker is. See that dark green bush? Yes. With the grey 
grey bushes around and grey trees around it. Yes. Is that grey grey tree on the left? So one of the funny ones. You see how he's running with his nose on the ground? He's looking for the others, always looking for the thing. Yes, but it still doesn't look like a very great animal. We're flying home tomorrow, so we have to change tactics. It is hard having invested so much time looking across the ravine, but this new spot has bushbuck and they are being more carefree. A female is in season. This is a rut season, like They rut whenever they want. They haven't got a season. The female comes on eat. Once again, the elusive animal does not so much elude as evaporate. At least you've seen them, boys. Yeah, more than seen them. They're running everywhere. <laughs> They're attacking us. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? danger. We almost had to defend ourselves. <laughs> How many was there, do you think, then, Nico? It's difficult to say. I'm taking a guess there was at least... There was definitely two rams. I'm thinking maybe three. Yeah. But uh, it looks like there's maybe a female uh, in heat. Yeah. Because that one had his nose to the floor, didn't he? Yeah, he was, he was, he was trailing. I was, I'm not sure whether he was trailing a, 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 a girl or whether he was chasing his <laughs> opponent. So <laughs> All right, yeah. Might have, been, might have gone yeah. either way. Yeah. But at least we've seen them here. And they, yeah. Yes, they're running up and down here. It's just difficult to get a shot in this thick cover yeah. if they're not stopping. Yeah. You see them going in the side and all of a sudden they jump out. 50 yards further yeah. or 50 yards closer it's backwards and forwards the whole time yeah aiming this side aiming there. oh no tell me about it so, quick quick yeah. quick this way this way that way quick 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, great. we'll see um i think with this little bit of coldness and a uh, couple of drops we had tomorrow might be a good day to come out and instantly and they've come alive didn't it? after that rain everything yeah. just like yeah and went, it was funny quiet. actually, it was raining and the wind was blowing yeah. and something it's dead quiet. Yeah. But it's nice. It's good. So what do you think? We'll come back here tomorrow morning, will we? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think we'll try the spot tomorrow morning yeah. and see how it goes. Perfect. Plus he's settled. So 
last day of 12-ish. So, fingers crossed, this is located in now, so it's very solid, so there's no rush now. We need a better angle. We reposition. Frustratingly, so does it. A little bit forward. A little bit forward. Should we shoot him again or not? If you can get a shot, three. The fence. I shot him a little bit forward. Forward. Did you see where it struck or not? I couldn't see where it struck, but I mean, it went down like a sack of potatoes. Yeah. Or a sack of oranges, which way you like. In Africa, so we have islands, potatoes, here's oranges. <laughs> <laughs> God. Ah, fast and furious. Fast and furious. I thought he was settled. I thought he was settled too. He must have got the scent of the wind again. Right. So a female was near. Ah. He was just about to walk and you took the shot. Yeah. I was saying, I've stopped him. I know, that, that's, very, was in the that's gap. why I shot. Yeah, I stopped him because he was in a gap and I thought, yes, if we get it now. It's now or never. It's now or never. So, if I waited two more seconds nah. before I stopped him, he would have been gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the bush. Paul doubts himself. If it's injured, we're going to have to be careful. Wasn't there, eh? Wasn't there even a the bushbuck manages to get yeah. under a fence, but how far does it go? Oh, yeah, there he is. Thankfully, oh. not far. Only 15 yards into the riverbed. <laughs> it is an impressive oh, looking yeah, yeah. antelope. Well done, Paul. Thank, Thank you very much, you Nico. Perfect. On the last day. Ah, yes. That was a hell of a hunt. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, now you know how difficult it can be ah, to hunt bushbuck, but it's worth seriously it. Seriously difficult. It's worth it. Seriously difficult. We hunted for them every morning and afternoon from day one, so that's 10 outings actually. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of we bumping into other animals while we're hunting them. Yeah, of so. course. Let's have a closer look. Let's have a closer look. Yeah. You remember what I explained to you about the dots on yeah. the kudu, his yeah. face? Yeah. He had three dots, the bushbuck has one. Yeah. And Nyala should have two. One of South Africa's four spiral horns. Yeah. Just as clever as the kudu. Yeah. And because of its body size, it's difficult to spot in the thickets, so... They just disappear, didn't they? Yeah. Just disappear. I mean, you, you saw them disappearing yesterday and the day before. The people say that they are quite, you know, aggressive if you, if you get a wounded one. And... Uh, it's char it obviously possibly charged a low at you. Mostly they get aggressive when you've got a dog with you. Or right. Hounds. So you're hunting them with hounds, or when you, when you put a, a hound on the on the blood on the blood tracks. Yeah. They they become quite aggressive. It's not that they attack humans. They're attacking the dog. Yeah, yeah. The dog runs back to to you. First thing you know, they see. You get in the way. Yeah. And uh, because of their height, they normally get you here in your upper leg. What kills you in the end is loss of blood yeah and also bacteria because the horns are very dirty they dig with their horns in the mud all the time yeah to make to make themselves look bigger and you know uh, more attractive themselves up yeah there. yeah nico i was right i was, I was a little bit forward yeah, i knew forward? i knew i pulled it a little bit but but it's it's still through the lungs so yeah that's that's fine yeah if it was there we'd have been in trouble we would have been in trouble we yeah. might have hit an artery there but it's difficult to say yeah you can eat them anywhere, yeah, yeah, and they'll go. They'll keep going for a bit. I mean, just feeling him now. There's a lot of, lot of um, reaction underneath yeah. the skin yeah. from that bullet. <laughs> All the way from here to about yeah. So I mean, you know, yeah, that was the uh, 120 grain. Yeah, nice Yeah, yeah, but kept it away from the. I'm try and keep him good caught. bits on the back. Yeah. So yeah, you have to do this, do you, Nico? Uh. And. With bushbuck, I, I like to get them to the slaughtering house as quickly as possible. Yeah. Um, in this case, he's been out here for a bit now, so I want to really just try and prevent him from getting hair slip. Yeah. That's why I'm I'm putting water on him. So it's basically what hair slip is for. So hair slip is, is when the uh, the skin is starting to decay. 
and it loses its hair. That's why we put salt on the skins. Yeah. So putting it in this, this, not being funny, a little bit dirty water is not going to be um, no. bad for the meat? No, it won't. No? It won't be. We wash the carcasses off in any case, but I mean, it's not like we're going to leave him here. No. The water won't, won't mess up the meat. We're just cooling him down. We'll take him out in a minute. Yep. That's something new every day. I can honestly say, I, I reckon these, these bush buck are just like CKD on steroids. Um, you see the bu bullet where it hits it, and it's still, you know, wanting to go, go, go. Um, and we'll open it up later on, but I'm pretty sure everything inside will be, you know, total with it. So, yeah, unbelievable hunt, unbelievable. And unbelievable, you know, it's only the size of a, a roebuck, but, you know, Hardy beast. Yeah. Then the noise comes back. Back, here, yeah. back at the larder, yeah. Julian has his kudu. He's had to work as hard for his animal as yeah. we have for ours. Once again, the knife stropping is wonderful to watch. Amazing the technique to pick up a broad. <laughs> Bit of stropping. It's more like a manicure, a pedicure. With an afternoon left, Nico has one more adventure for us. Next time, he's letting Paul call in a diker just like Paul calls in Muntjac at home in the UK. Hello. For more information about hunting with Nico, go to eastcapebushfelthunting.co.za And for more information about Sacco rifles and bullets, including the Sacco 85 Carbon Wolf, go to sacco.fi.